All right, now we want to uh, create an emulator and see if I can remember from memory how to do this. Uh, we want to create what's called an Android virtual device, AVD. And I'll actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit and look at the uh, instructions, which is probably good because then you can see where the instructions are yourself. But if you click on installing the SDK, uh, did all that. Okay, great. This is the thing we just did right here. That's all set. So now I'm going to click into um, uh, tools. Is that it? No. Uh, where are you, little bugger? Oh, dev guide, tools, and EVDs. Here we go. So this explains Android virtual devices. That's your. That's going to be your phone simulator. So to do this, you basically follow the instructions here. You want to use the Android command, say create AVD, give it a name and give it a target. And the target corresponds to the basically the phone that we're targeting. So in order to find out what phones we have available to target, just say Android list targets. And there's only going to be one on there because I only downloaded the one. And so if we look back here, we can do this Android create AVD name target. And the target that you put in is this ID number right here. So I'm going to say Android. Oops. Android's tough to type. Create AVD name. And I'll just call it my simulator. And the target is going to be one, and I'm typing a one because of this ID right here. If there was a whole long list of these, had I downloaded all of the different um, platforms, then I would you know, just pick the number that corresponded to the one that I wanted. So just hit enter. Do I wish to create a custom hardware profile? No, I'm not going to worry about that. If you're interested in that, you can read through this page and determine all, this, all these different things here that, uh, that are possible. We're just going to go with the standard for now, just to get everybody started. Uh, okay, great, so it's done. So now what I want to do is uh, launch the emulator. Victor, uh, what is it? Emulator. Let's see if I can remember this. No, simulator. Yeah. So I, I use the emulator. If you look back here, I'm just telling it to run that command. See back in the tools directory, I've got this emulator command. So I'm saying, um, where'd you go, you bugger? There we go. So uh, emulator and space minus ABD. So I'm telling it the Android virtual device I want. And I'm typing in my simulator, which was the name I gave the simulator when I created it. Obviously, you can give it whatever name you want. Uh, so. The emulator, the first time through, takes a real long time to launch, but it gets a little bit better after that, plus you can leave it open. And we'll just wait for that to launch. When it does launch, it's going to look like a regular phone, you know, like a, a typical a typical phone screen. Let's see. And here it comes. Probably doesn't help that I'm recording a screencast at the same time. Like I said, this would be a lot quicker the second time. But since we just installed it, I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. Initializing. screen and we can look at our apps. It's still initializing. You ready there buddy? So there you got your apps, your settings, everything. Back home. And you can get the browser. And 
here we are, google.com. So we are, my computer's connected to the internet, therefore this uh, phone emulator thinks it's connected to the internet and it actually is connected to the internet. So you can, uh, if you're working on a web app, uh, you can host it on your web server and test it in this and see very realistically how it's going to perform on the actual device if you don't have a physical phone. 